hey everyone welcome to the channel so till now we have completed the global css now what we will be doing we will be working on this navbar so for that let's go to our code and inside this navbar index.js quickly create this component so i'll just import react from react and this will be a functional component and let's return here some div and at the end we just have to export this component that's it so now if i just go to our app.js here we'll see that we have this navbar portion so we just have to import it here so this will be navbar and i think this is done so let's save this and let's check what we are getting because we'll get nothing because we haven't given anything and for that let's quickly create the structure and for that let's go to our final version and we'll check that so you will see that on the left side we have this icon and on the right side these links so let's create that so for that first we have to create some dummy data to render those links for that i'll just take here array and this will be some key value pairs so the first one will be label and let's give this one as for example home and there will be a two property to basically the route path all right now i'll just quickly create all the others five all right everyone so as you can see that i have created the data now we just have to render that but before that what we are going to do we'll take here one nav wrapper so this will be a nav component and let's give this one a class name of navbar and here what we will be taking there should be another inner wrapper so i'll take another div here and let's give this class name as a navbar underscore underscore container and here basically we have to render that particular icon so for that we have to import something from react icons so this will be import something from react i think we haven't installed the package let me check once so if i just go to our package.json all right we don't have that so let's install that package so i'll just do here npm install react icons sorry this will be react icons and let's wait some time and let's give it some time to install all right everyone so as you can see that the package is now installed this react icons 4.3.1 and if i just go to our package.json we can see that this uh, package is being added so now we have to import that from react icons and the package name that we will be particularly using and this is basically fa now fa stands for font awesome and the icon name is fa react now what we have to do we just have to render this fa react icon but if i just go to our final version you see that on click of that basically we have to navigate to this home page so that means this will be basically a link and for that we have to import link from react router down so i'll just do here this will be link and now we have to take this link here and we have to just import this sorry we have to use this fa react icon that's it and this icon basically takes on size property so let's give this size as 30 and also in this link we'll give two property so two is basically the route path and also let's give a class name here also so we'll give class name as never sorry this will be class name as never container and then logo and i think this is done now let's format this and let's save the changes and let's check what we are getting so if i just go back and you'll see that we are getting now this icon and this home page is basically the page content but this is not looking nice but let's forget about this for now because we will be creating the structure first so now next what we have to do we have to take another ul so if i just go there you'll see that this is basically a list so now we will be creating that one based on ul so let's take here ul and let's give a class name here also so we will give class name of for example never 
container menu and here basically we have to render that dummy data that we have created so we'll take here data dot map and this will be item and this will return li and what we have to do first we have to give a class name so i'll just do here class name and let's copy this one and let's keep a class name of here menu item and next what we have to do basically all the data here is basically you can see that individually links so basically we have to use that link component of react router dom and this will take obviously the two property so we give here two as and this will be item dot two and also let's give a key here so for key we'll take another index property so this will be key and we'll pass here as key that's it and also in this link we'll take some class name so here i'll just take a class name of i'll just copy this and let's give this one as for example links and i think this is done so next what we have to do we have to basically give some on click so in the mobile devices we will be showing in terms of icons so if i just go to mobile devices and you'll see that we have to show this but we will be doing that later all right so now if i just save all of this and let's check what we are getting so i'll just save this and also don't forget we have to in, uh, render here item dot level yeah so if i just save all of this go back and see that now we are getting this home about me skills and if i just click on about me it is going to about page on click of skills it is going to skills page and on click of this icon it is going to the home page and this is working all right now next basically what we have to do we have to create this icon so if i just go to our final version and as i already showed you that once i'll go for this mobile devices and just check once this dimension so if the dimension is more than 768 so this will be automatically getting changed so that is the reason we have to create media queries whenever the uh, width is less than 768 we have to create that icon so for that let's create that icon so what i will do i will take another div here so this will be a div and let's give a class name of for example we'll give nav icon and now what you have to do you have to import two icons basically and also what we have to do if i if i'm not wrong basically so you see that on click of that basically we have to toggle between these two icons so this on click functionality also we have to do so for that let's do one thing i'll take here on one on click and let's give this one as for example handle uh, let's give as toggle icon and first we'll create this method so this will be const handle toggle icon and also you have to take some state here so this will be toggle icon set toggle icon and this will be equal to use state of false and here basically what you have to do is just take this set toggle icon and we just have to toggle this boolean that's it and i think this is done now next thing what you have to do you have to import those two icons so for that let's do one thing i'll import from another package so i'll just do here import something from react icons sorry this will be react icon slash the package name is hi and this icon name is hix and there will be another icons and that will be fa bars all right and this is done now next what we have to check basically we have to check if this toggle icon is true that means we have to show that cross icon or else we have to show that bars icon so for that what we can do we can just check here if toggle icon is true we'll render hix or we render that particular fa bars and that's it and also let's pass some size property here so this will be size of 30 and this will be size of 30 and i think this is done so now let's save this and let's check what we are getting so if i just save all of this and if i go back you'll see that now we are getting this icon and on click of that you see now this is changing so this is toggling so now this is i think all about the structure for this navbar 
so now what we will be doing in the next video we have to work on this particular css and that is actually quite a lot we have to do because we have to do this functionality and also you have to manage all the media queries let's do that in the next video and that's all for this video if you like this video give a like comment down and also please subscribe to my channel thank you